guys. And it's recording. Oh, I didn't even realize it was recording. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm your girl Mocha Mika. Welcome back to my channel. I am super hungry. Yes, today I'm excuse my watch in the background. I'm starving. No, it's been a while. But if it's your first time joining me, welcome. And please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also like and share. I'm trying to get up my subscribers, y'all. I'm, I'm badly in need of help. So hope you appreciate the video, enjoy the video, and you subscribe. And come from a and W. I know that's a place that I don't know if there's too many a and W's around anymore. Got some onion rings. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can't really see the food here. Let me show y'all the food. Just got some onion rings and a bacon cheeseburger. I'm gonna show you in a better way. Nice, juicy, sloppy, like I like it. <laughs> Double bacon cheeseburger. But I just realized, okay, I thought there wasn't no bacon on there, but they got it on there. It's just. A little bit of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love my bacon. Mm. So how y'all been doing? Hope everybody been doing good. Staying safe. From the corona and everything, the hurricane, everything else that's been going on. It's just been seem like one thing after another. Goodness. Mm. I'm so hungry, y'all. I haven't eaten all day. All day, like for real. I was supposed to do this a lot earlier. It's actually pretty late right now. It's about, um, I don't know, seven something. But, and I still have to do my daughter's hair tonight. <laughs> That's why I wanted to make sure I got the same little quick little mukbang in while I'm stuffing my mouth with this burger. And um, onion rings. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let me get better adjusted here. All right. Here we go. <sighs> All right, y'all. I got to dive right in. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm starving. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm. <laughs> I have nothing after. I love real onion rings. Mm. Love them. Hold up, guys. Gotta get a paper towel. I'll be right back. Alright, back, guys. So. I know I'm not the only one that feels like there's not enough time in the day sometimes, man. Especially for, like, single parents. Or if you're, like, you know, that parent that does everything. Like, everything. Mm. 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 Trying to do another one. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do a lot of running around, pick up, drop off. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Got a double cheese, bacon cheeseburger, so a lot of meat. But not that I mind, I mean, you know, I love doing what I need to, I love being a mother and I love doing what I got to do for my kids or whatever. I just be seeming like, you know, I just got to prioritize my time better and stop, you know, start procrast stop procrastinating, which is a big problem of mine. Comment down below if there's anybody who's with me. I'm a little bit of a procrastinator. Wait till the last minute to do stuff. <laughs> Like, I regular work, I do it, get it done, but like, 
errands and things that I got to take care of, you know, and be at home or whatever. Procrastinate, wait till the last minute when I got to do my homework for school. Wait until pretty much the night before <laughs> to do my homework, which is not good. Then I'm like rushing and trying to, you know, not really, really able to absorb everything that I'm, you know, studying or looking over or whatever or doing to like, because I'm trying to, you know, get it done. Trying to hurry up and get it done before school. So I can go to bed and go to school or get it done a couple hours before school. Class starts. You know, crazy stuff like that. Stuff that I tell that I tell my kids not to do. But they get it on. But it's, but it's something I'm definitely working on. Getting a procrastinator when it comes to something. If I'm planning something like a party or, you know, something I want to, you know, do. Wait till last minute to, like, make sure everything is taken care of or to try to handle something and then a lot of times it messes it up because it's too late to do it and you got to do it in a certain amount of time and before the event or for the time before you know you need it mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. yo and w The burgers, man. And the onions. Bussin, bussin, that for real. Be hitting. And they're so underestimated. Mmm, what's in A&W? I'm gonna have such good burgers. Cause they do. My older, my middle daughter put me on to them. Cause she's love them. I used to hate on them at first. <laughs> so I didn't like the customer service at the time. But it's good. Oh, it's so good. I was like, what's this? Black raspberry ice? Man. So good. I'm trying to lighten, you know, count my calories and, you know, manage my calories a lot better. And ice is zero calorie. And, you know, it still has that fizzled when you, you know, because I don't drink soda anymore. I might every once in a blue moon, like really very rarely. And if I do with something like a Sprite or something like that. But ever since I got onto these, for real, for real, these ices, mm. zero calories, got all the vitamins and antioxidants that you need. And it got that fizzle, you know, gives you that fizzle to, you know, remind you of pop, that, that acidity. <laughs> yep, I just made it up. Making up my own words. That's what I do sometimes. But, you know, got all that. You know, when you just need them bubbles, a little, little fizzle every now and then. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. So, what's been going on with you guys? Let me know. Anything exciting, fun, different going on in your life? I've been working on some things myself, like personally, trying to recondition my mind and frame of thought and just my life, my career. That's why I'm taking my last biology class I got to take before I could start nursing school. I work in the health field now, but I'm looking to become... A pediatric nurse. That's what I really want to be. Started off wanting to be an RN. You know, everybody can be an RN. But then I got a job working at a hospital, the labor and delivery, labor and delivery department. One of my best jobs to the day. 
I swear I miss working there. I want to go back there. But it was so, it was, you know, I love working with the babies, like being around the babies and helping to take care of the moms and making sure, you know, the moms was good to know how to, you know, properly wrap the babies up or change a pamper or whatever it is they might need help with with the baby. But my main job was to, you know, take, because I worked in postpartum and, you know, as an aide, CNA, certified nursing assistant. And so we mainly, you know, helped with the moms, making sure they're good and they had everything they need, you know, after labor. And it was, you know, it was cool. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved helping the moms and being there for them and talking to them about their stories or helping to comfort them because some people, unfortunately, didn't have, like, a significant others there. Yeah, got it. That's right. It's my daughter, Toriana, my baby of the crew. But, yeah, I really enjoyed just everything about that job, especially just being part of the whole bringing a baby into the world and all the, you know, trials and tribulations you go through and all the things you, I just like to be in there for the moms and helping the moms and making sure they're good. Me being a mom myself and having four kids, knowing how, you know, it can be. I really enjoyed being able to, you know, see their, the mothers when they're, you know, the first babies and they're super excited about their first baby and all the, you know, and at the same time, super nervous to like do certain things and don't know if they're doing stuff right and, you know, might need a little help or something. I used to love doing that stuff. I, I still do. I love it. So, yeah, that's what made me want to, I was saying all that to say, working there made me decide that, you know what, I want to be a pediatric nurse. I want to be a nurse that works with the children and the babies. Only thing I don't like is hard for me is, of course, like it would be hard for anybody, I would assume, who has a heart. It's the times when, you know, unfortunately, when there's babies who don't get to make it, you know, at birth, you know, at the late, you know, when, when, in, don't, how to say it, I don't know how to say it without, you know, coming off, but, you know, the ones that, you know, unfortunately have to meet their maker a lot earlier than they have, than they want to, the ones that just, you know, don't quite make it, you know, that's sad, you know, of course, that's sad, that's, something that would be hard for me but I'm sure after doing it for a while you know I'll be able to cope a little better and deal with it no that's just you know unfortunately how it is sometimes and you know just make sure I can be there for the mother as much as possible to help support her and you know mentally emotionally physically as much as possible while the short time that they're there in the hospital give them all the information that they can use for when they leave the hospital all that stuff hmm oh. I'm talking too much. <laughs> I know. Mm. All these underings, man. Mm. The real underings. You see, the onions actually in it. Not all minced up and chopped up. I hate underings like that. If it ain't got a whole slice of onion in it like that. It's not an onion ring to me. Like some old bull crap. <laughs> it's minced onions. It's not an onion ring. Chopped up onions. Mmm. 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 is so good. Especially when you're super hungry. But their burgers are really good though. I actually think they're better than Wendy's burgers. But, you know. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to clear about baby messy. Mm 
Never be super full, but it's so good. You gotta like <laughs> force yourself and like eat the rest of it. But, like, you know, it's my little, that's my little bite. I gotta eat this. It's two more bites. It could be one, but I ain't gonna be that greedy like that in front of y'all like that. But I could put these other things in my mouth. Uh huh. So I'm starting up a vlog channel, guys. Not too little. I'm going to start posting more TikTok videos. Some great TikTok videos. So look forward to that. Stay tuned, please, guys. I know I've been a little bit not as consistent as I should have been, should be. But I'm definitely going to take this channel more seriously. I've just been working a lot. But... Now I have it to where I can make sure I get my videos in and still do what I got to do. Got the hours that I need to work. And I'm going to put in more hours. It's going to be all the, I mean, more videos. <laughs> and it's going to be more mukbangs, yes, and recipes, but also um, other videos too, like challenges. And I'm excited for the first challenge that I have coming up for you guys. You will see. All right, let me take my last bite. And I know I've said that before, but I mean that. I'm going to be with, you'll see. Hang in there, riders. Ride with me. I appreciate y'all riding with me so far. My, you know, few subscribers that I have now, I thank you, and I'm proud to have what I have. And I'm gonna do everything I can to, you know, entertain you guys as much as possible, and hope to grow more friends, more family members to the rider family. Cause y'all some riders. Y'all still hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. <laughs> y'all 19 people right now. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I'm going to do better. Yeah, this is something new that I was trying. So, I have to fill it out. I'm not sure if I really want to stick to it or not. But I said, I don't know. I need one more onion ring. You know how you need? <laughs> I need like a bite with every bite of the sandwich. Oh, well. But... I'm ready to, you know, do what I need to do. Entertain my people and keep it, you know, consistent. Especially with the vlog channel or, you know, you get to know more about me and my life outside of this. If you care. But, um, thanks you for, thank you guys for joining me on this little mini mukbang and W. I don't even know what the purpose of doing that. I can see nothing. It was very good. I actually want some more, but I'm stuffed. But it's good. Their sandwiches are so good. Their burgers are really good. Okay. They're mainly known for like their root beer, and up hence A&W. I don't know, their little like root beer folks and all that stuff, but their burgers are fire. Like for real. So if you get a chance, go past one, try it out. They're A2. Bacon double cheeseburger. Good. But, again, thank you guys for joining me. And I love you, love you, love you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. Talk to me. Sh share with me who you think your favorite fast food restaurant is. The best fast food burgers that you like. I actually think A&W is better than Wendy's. And I used to love me some Wendy's. To me, like, Wendy's was the top. But they've kind of fallen off a little bit to me. I don't know, maybe it's just the ones around my way where they don't, you know, make stuff like they're supposed to as, as good as they should or whatever. It'd be all sloppy and a little piece of lettuce, welted lettuce, like one little piece of welted lettuce on your sandwich. It's like, really? Really? I can't stand that. I can't stand welted, le welted lettuce. And I like a lot of lettuce on my sandwich. That a little thin little flappy piece of nothing. Like, and that's been a lot of that lately at Wendy's and their tomatoes. Like, really, Wendy's? But anyway... 
So let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite fast food restaurant, which you think is the top notch. You know, I know there's probably going to be a lot of McDonald's, you know, <laughs> lovers. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Because I used to be too growing up. I mean, I don't know too many people who didn't, you know, grow up on McDonald's. <laughs> it's just never, it never gets old. Even though you know it's not the best for you at all. At all. You just got to get a nugget or a burger or a milkshake or something every now and then. At least fries or something. Oh, yeah. Y'all like my new style. I guess I don't think the last time. Y'all seen me, I had this little locks. I'm actually, of course, these are fake faux locks, but I'm actually thinking about getting locks for real. These are called, they're not, they're, I guess they're butterfly locks, yeah. But like a kind of a different type of butterfly, really bulky butterfly lock. And I'm really contemplating on getting some, my locking my hair for real. I want you so bad. It's a big part of me. I want you so bad. But then there's that other part of me that's like, I can't stay committed. I, you know, I like to switch up on styles. And, you know, sometimes I like to just wear my natural curls or just, you know, do something with, you know, different styles with my hair. And it's like, I mean, yes, they have different styles with dreads. But, you know, sometimes I like to wear, I might want to straighten it, wear it blow dried out, you know, you know, big, big puffy afro. I love my afros. You know, I might want to wear a little wet and cruelly, you know, show them a little pattern, curl pattern. I love, you know, so I like to switch it up a lot. So I don't know. I'm scared because I don't think I'll stay committed. But I'm going to try out CDs these to safe right now because I can support them. And if I don't want when I'm ready to, you know, get rid of it, I can. But anyway, y'all, I'm just rumbling and rambling on. I love you guys. Thank you for watching me and joining me. If anybody who stayed hanging still hanging with me still riding with me i thank you <laughs> and please subscribe become part of the rider family like we get we're gonna we get down we're gonna get down a lot more but please like subscribe share comment and i'll see you guys in the next video love you remember to live love and laugh because that equals peace